on everybody welcome to another video today ladies and gentlemen as you can see by the title of today's video I'm gonna be sorting out one of my tires on my car guys because oh my god it's got a slow puncher let's go and sort this bad boy out i'm currently at work it's just turned it's six o'clock meaning it's home time baby um so yeah i'm gonna shoot home what the hell was that <laughs> i'm gonna shoot home let's sort out my freaking tire baby so to fix my tire, we're going to need a few things. I've also got these as well, guys. Basically what these do is you put them behind or in front of the wheel to stop the car from rolling away. Before you guys slate me in the comment section about having some axle stands, I'm still, yeah, I need to order some. But for now, just better to be safe than sorry, put these in front and behind the wheels. Okay guys, so first things first, we're gonna take off the lug nuts or wheel bolts, whatever the hell you wanna call them. So make sure you get your right attachment for it. And then we're gonna just break them. <laughs> there we go, that's one. I like to do it in a star-shaped pattern. So across, across, across. So basically guys, just copy what I'm doing. <laughs> Where we are from here, there we go, this one go and then this one should be the final one <laughs> should always do this guys before you jack up the car because that's what they say to do so just follow the manual guys <laughs> okay right they're all loose now pop this on the floor let's jack up the car all right so the next thing we're going to do guys is jack up the car so if i can find the jack point Bring it down a bit, hang on. Make sure it's fully down. Go. Find a jack point. No, not the jack point. <laughs> Don't want to go through the bottom of the car. We'll get there, guys. Don't you worry, we'll get there. Oop. There we go. Jack point located. Pump it up. It'd be best for you to leave the car unlocked as well. Well, just have a panic attack. Hey, once the car's in the air, we've got to take off the wheel. We now grab our special tool again, and we're just gonna basically. It might be easier just to use it by hand, actually. Just put it in and undo it. Maybe it's not easier, but we're gonna carry on doing it like this now. <laughs> so we're gonna undo it in a star shape. That's one nut. And let's go across this way. Two nut, I'll go across. Three nut across. <laughs> oh, nearly there. There we go. And actually, before I take the wheel off and get my hands all dirty, I do have special gloves. <laughs> Spot my special gloves quick. I was meant to do this at the, at the start, guys. So if you've got special gloves, put them on before you do any of this. I'm just trying to beat this the sunset <laughs> trying to beat it to make this video anyway all right all right all right right there we go special gloves now my hands won't get dirty and what we're going to do guys we're going to push on to this so it doesn't just fall off oh that's the wrong one and we're gonna undo it like so until it pops out come on Go. Grab it like so. So five lug nuts are off now, and then we're just going to give it a bit of a wiggle. There we go. Oh, nah, there we go. Falls off just like that, guys. Right, we're going to roll it to our little station where we can lay it down. Let's repair this tire. Oh, 
Okay, right. First things first, guys, we've got to locate where the damage is. And that is, well, where the screw is. And that is, boom, right there, guys. I'm hoping the camera can see. Try not to curb my wheel on the floor. There we go, scratch it on the floor. There we go, that is our culprit, guys. So what we're gonna do, just to make sure it's definitely leaking air, we are gonna spray a little bit of soapy water on it and see if it is leaking air. Um, it might not show, um, only because it's a very, very slow puncture. It normally takes about three weeks to even notice anything, but it was only that I took my wheels off a couple of days ago um, to clean the car and clean the wheels, there were wheels off detail, and I saw it in there, and I was like, right, that's our culprit. So let's, uh, I'm just gonna quickly do that. I'll do that off camera, guys. You know, it's just a bit boring otherwise, but then we're gonna take it out and repair it. Okay, guys, so I have just sprayed it with soapy water, and it is definitely leaking air. Not a lot, but just a little bit. But before we get on to repairing it, just have a little look at this little kit that I got from Amazon, guys. It's super duper. Uh, Hoping it's all hit. There we go, guys. So this was recommended to me on Amazon. As soon as I type in repair kit, this was the top one. Um, so if it is super good, I'll recommend it. If not, then I won't recommend it. <laughs> but this is definitely what we need. We need to take out that nail or screw, whatever is embedded in the tire. Or we see these are our plugs to put into the hole. Uh, we've got this to make it a little bit bigger. Uh, the hole so then we can fit the plugs in and we've got this to put the the plugs in here and then basically just push it in the hole pull out quickly and then it will be plugged i believe we've got a little bit of lubricant here let's have a little look stab it with this because why not a little look yeah there's definitely something in there there you go lovely cool this repair kit looks pretty, pretty damn good. It cost me 30 quid, guys, so, I, so it better be good. <laughs> anyway, without more further ado, let's repair this tyre. Okay, guys, I'm going to try and do this while the camera, I have got you on my little cool tripod slash selfie stick gimbal thing. <laughs> but I'm going to try and do this so you guys can see. We see here's our little fella here. I do apologise if... God, this is going to be a tough one. Might have to stick a knife in there and get it... It's gonna be a tough one, this. Got a feeling. God, it's really embedded in there, isn't it? Jesus crikey. I had a feeling that this might happen. But it's okay, because, sorry guys, I am pushing against the camera. God, this is proper in there. There we go. Right, I'm under it. We're gonna pull it out. try to <laughs> it was coming i'm hoping you guys can still see on the camera at, the, at this point in time i'm just trying to get this freaking nail out jesus i did hear it because i heard some, like, i hear it coming because there's some air coming out and obviously guys once we are finished we are gonna put some air back into the tire we're not gonna just leave it jesus it was coming i got distracted and then it's not coming come on boy come on i know you want to Come on. A few moments later. Come on. Yes. Got ya. Right, anyway, that's our culprit. <laughs> My fingers are definitely not stopping the air coming out, but there we go. Right, what we're gonna do now is plug it with this bad boy. So, let's find the hole. There we go. Right, ideally, we need a bit of lube on it. So, stick her in the lube, get her all lubed up. Lovely. And then, look at that. There we go. Right, this is going to be a bit of a. I really hope you guys can see. But yes, yeah, so we're going to have to make this hole a lot deeper. You guys are going to be calling me weak in the comments section, aren't you? Bloody bastards. <laughs> there we go. Spin it and it will go in. 2,000 years later. There we go, we're in. Right, we're in. <laughs> so basically with this, guys, 
You need to just bash the living shit out of it. Look at my glove. Right, what is it? Look, it's really dirty. What is the point of that? Anyway, now I'm going to pull it out a little bit. That's where the fingers are going to get a little bit messy, but that's why you should wear gloves. But we're going to lube it up now. There we go. Oh my god, I'm, I'm exhausted, guys. This is a proper workout, this. Now, now that it just lubes up, push it back in. There we go. Really good. Out. There we go. So in and out motion. There we go. Just go. And out that. So. Okay. And now. Oh, that is leaking air still. Oh, Jesus. And now with these plugs, it's gonna be even more fun trying to get this in. There we go. So this should go in like so. Oh, it should. I don't know if I did. <laughs> I'm saying it should, I didn't say it will. <laughs> Come on. One eternity later. Right, it's in. <laughs> So, now, I imagine we're gonna just pull this out, like that, and then plug it. Come on, come on. I do want to. Come on. Oh, God. Bang it again. Oh, Jesus. A few inches later. Okay guys, finally managed to get it in after about 20 minutes, 30 minutes of actually pushing and pushing. It's in guys, so that's what this is. I'm gonna now cut it. Oh, that's pushing everything out of the way. I'm now gonna cut it, uh, but let's wipe all that yucky lube off. I will have to just give the wheel a quick wipe over with a microfiber cloth. Uh, that didn't work very well, but yeah, there we go, that'll do. Right, so it does come with a special knife. I did put it somewhere. But off, no, it's here. Okay, guys, hopefully it's sharp enough. Right, we're gonna just cut it. There we go, God, it is sharp, Jesus. I'm gonna cut down, not towards my face. And that should plug it. And I, I want it to be smooth so I don't feel it when I drive. Let's get rid of that and then try and smoothly cut it. It should work. Come on, knife. It's bloody sharp though, wow. Cuts through it like butter. And my skin like butter, ow. That really hurt. <laughs> Be bleeding on the channel. All right, guys, I'm just gonna stand this up, right, so I can like, point it towards my face so I can actually cut it properly. I'll show you the finished result, guys. But yeah, this is actually, not done a too bad of a job. Yeah, brilliant. Right, here we go guys, can you see that? It's there, there. Hopefully it will hold up for, for a while. It'll be really good. Yeah, I'm pushing onto the, yeah, that's brilliant. I'm really happy with that. Oh, so in the end guys it did work but there's a plug there brilliant right I'll lay this back down before we do anything let's put some air in this tire because i think all the air has come out and then once the air's in the tire we can then see if it's leaking or not so let's put some air in the tire all right we're going to pump up this bad boy hopefully it will hold air fingers crossed it's meant to that's what all the reviews said all the reviews on amazon said it was very good so and keep hold of this, don't want to lose it. And then, whee, press this on the wheel, like so. Put this on, oh dear, come on. This goes in, it's probably going to take forever, but let's see. Okay. Okay. Hmm. 
now let's finally pop this back on as you can tell guys i've got some new gloves <laughs> there we go and now where this is we we'll spray it with our soapy spray water and ta -da, i hope you guys can see that but there is no bubbles meaning it's been plugged guys look at that you wouldn't even know guys wouldn't even know wow super happy with that look at that brilliant now let's put it back on the car actually guys before it goes on the car let's give it a quick wipe over because there is a lot of yuck on this wheel and it would be good to just get rid of it get rid of all the yuck that one clean wheel on the car, but it is what it is. Lovely, it's not gonna be perfect, but it is what it is. Can't be worried to clean it properly. Okay guys, so what we're gonna do now is basically the complete opposite, like the whole, like a reverse of what we've done to take it off. So first things first, let's put it on. <laughs> this is where we have to get quite up close and personal to the car. And then we're going to just lift and slide it on, like so. Do not let go of the wheel, guys, because it might fall off. <laughs> so what we're going to do now, guys, is one of these in the, uh -huh, in the socket, like that. And then we're going to find a hole. I think I put that on perfectly, actually. Yeah, this is brilliant. And then we're going to just sort of like what we've done with the tire. Ready? Plug the hole and twist, twist, twist until it's hand tight there we go oh no not quite hang on it's wibbly wobbly come on that's why you gotta hold it guys <laughs> keep turn there we go right it's no longer turning meaning it's finger tight or hand tight and now we're gonna do the rest so what we're gonna do but we'll use this special tool because it's up in the air it's not as fiddly so uh, we'll go down to this one because we've got enough room here guys just keep spinning so until it reaches until it stops pretty much so there and then we're gonna go opposite this one it's all fun guys it's all fun there we go oh come on come on there we go and then we're gonna go across to this one so guys even if you're just looking for a video to how to take your wheels off to clean them. This is perfect video, guys, because I'm showing you how to take them off and put them on. Just like that, guys. They're all on, but before we drop the car, we are gonna make sure that they are, you don't wanna overdo it, guys, because otherwise you don't want it too tight. But you're gonna just make sure they're tight enough so they, the bar basically doesn't move, so that one wasn't tight enough, but now it is go just like so Ta -da. and by the way guys i'm not a professional at this i have done it a few times so sort of know what i'm doing but if you are a professional and, and you do have any tips and tricks how to do this please let me know <laughs> anyway there we go bosh okay just so you know guys sorry i was just thinking i was meant to say at the beginning of the video i have taken off the locking wheel nut just to make this video a little bit quicker uh, all my other wheels do have locking wheel nuts this one doesn't because I thought I'd just swap it just to make the video a bit faster. But yes, my lock-in wheel nut was in... Actually, I don't know because I've, I've, I've changed the wheel over now. But you know what I mean. I do, I do have it. So once the video ends, I'll, uh, I'll have to put the lock-in wheel nut in. But I just thought I'd... Well, I could have done that now when I've just done that. But whatever. Whatever, guys. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Anyway, all your lug... Norm, a normal car... Well, a lot of new cars now have lug nuts. But the tennis is just not a modern car. The tennis is an old banger. We've just got the normal lug nuts in there or wheel bolts. Anyway, so they're in. We'll give it a little wib wibble wobble. Make sure there's no wobble on the wheel. Pretty good, actually. Lovely. Next, we're going to drop the car and then we're going to talk the nuts. There we go. Just like that, guys. And then we're going to slide that in like that and put it and that is the car lowered now it's time to talk the wheel 
or the lug nuts. <laughs> so like I said, this is the fun bit. So we have got our lovely torque wrench. Absolutely stunning. Um, let's take it out. Oh, the, all the tidying up I'm gonna have to do after this, making this, or well, recording the video. Anyway, right, so this is our torque wrench. Sorry guys, I've got the camera quite close to the wheel, so but this is the torque wrench, lovely. Got the little attachment. Put that on like so. Lovely, lovely. And then we're gonna take the attachment from this because it just slides off. That's gonna go onto this. And all wheels are different guys, but mine, my wheels or my lug nuts slash wheel bolts need to be tightened to 130 newton meters of torque, 130. So I've got it set here. I'm hoping it will focus. Come on camera, focus. There we go. So basically zero here to mean it's dead on whatever I put it on. And there's a little 130 here guys. So it is on 130, but this is so vital guys. You have to talk your lug nuts when you take your wheels off and put them back on. You have to because your, your wheels could fall off. <laughs> Simple as that. So we are on 130 and we're gonna do it in a crisscross slash star pattern. So we're gonna just go crisscross. So we're gonna start, I, I really hope that the camera isn't gonna get knocked over by me, but then all we have to do and what it will do when we, we will know it will it's reached its torque when the, the, the torque wrench itself clicks. So here's an example, like that, meaning that is torqued and we're gonna come down to this one, I think, it's probably sensible. There we go, and then up, and then across, like that, there we go. And then what I like to do guys is just double check they're all torqued and count to five, so one, two, three, four, five. And the reason why I'm counting to five guys is because there are Oh, it's not focused. Oh no. I don't think it was focused that whole time. No. Oh well, it is what it is now, guys. You sort of saw it. I do apologize for that. <laughs> for God's sake. It's because I tapped on the phone beforehand. Anyway, uh you well, you got the you got the gist of that anyway. So yeah, we count to five because there are five lug nuts. I'm very sorry that, that wasn't in focus. I can't believe that now. I'm not gonna bother doing that again. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll break one. To then retalk it just just for just for video sake guys just for your sake so what we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen it like what we did before simple as that and then we're gonna tighten it till it stops that stopped and then we're gonna do yeah, for god's sake i can't believe that didn't wasn't in focus but this one here and then we're just gonna and there we go but then we obviously count to five uh while i've done that i might as well just double check again one now it's in focus two three four five guys and there we go that is how you talk your wheel it's looking fresh as hell let's bring it back and put it in focus again as you put it in focus there we go but there we go guys there is the repaired wheel um so yeah what i'm going to do now guys outside of the video because i don't want to bore you but i'm going to quickly take it for a drive make sure it's okay um and because it isn't dead flat to the tire like face make sure you can't feel that and then, yeah, I'm gonna let you know my honest review on this repair kit um, when I get back home. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, so just been for a little drive. The car's down there, it's looking beautiful because um, it is still fairly clean, fairly clean. I cleaned it at the weekend, so it's fairly clean still. Um, but yeah, looking beautiful. And guys, it drives beautiful too. Um, the I've checked on the pressure thing. Um, like that's built into the car to tell me my my PSI or whatever it is. Um, basically, my tire pressure. All good, guys. It's holding up. So what I'm going to do is give it a few days and check myself. And then when I'm next, when I next do a video, if I remember to tell you guys if it's good or bad, I'll let you know. But for now, guys, big thumbs up from me. It was very very difficult to actually that the process was draining, but it works, guys. So if yeah, I'd say buy that kit and give it a go yourself, guys, because knowing me, I was probably doing something wrong. But anyway, guys, that is today's video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up. And yes, like I say, guys, I'm not a professional um, at anything that's been done today. But yeah, guys, if you have tips and tricks on how to take your wheels off, 
better, easier, how to avoid scratching them or whatever. Uh, touch wood. I mean, I've got no wood around me, so I'm going to touch my head. Touch wood. Um, I haven't scratched my wheels uh, while taking them off or putting them on, which is good, obviously. But yeah, guys, if you did enjoy today's video, please give it a big thumbs up because I'm sweating, guys, as you can tell. But I did enjoy it. I did enjoy it. But anyway, guys, without any more further ado, I'm going to end the video here. So please subscribe if you're new to my channel. If you're not new to my channel and you haven't yet subscribed, please do that. Peace. See you guys all later, dude. Pretty cool. What do you think, guys? All right. I'm now a tire repair man.